whose goings forth have been from of old, from everlasting. Micah chapter 5, verse 2. The Lord Jesus had goings forth for his people as a representative before the throne, long before they appeared upon the stage of time. It was from everlasting that he signed the compact with his Father that he would pay blood for blood, suffering for suffering, agony for agony, and death for death in the behalf of his people. It was from everlasting that he gave himself up without a murmuring word, that from the crown of his head to the sole of his foot he might sweat great drops of blood, that he might be spit upon, pierced, mocked, rent asunder, and crushed beneath the pains of death. His goings forth, as our surety, were from everlasting. Pause, my soul, and wonder. Thou hast goings forth in the person of Jesus from everlasting. Not only when thou was born into the world did Christ love thee, but his delights were with the sons of men before there were any sons of men. Often did he think of them from everlasting to everlasting. He had set his affection upon them. What, my soul? Has he been so long about thy salvation, and will not he accomplish it? Has he from everlasting been going forth to save me, and will he lose me now? What? He has carried me in his hand as a precious jewel, and will he now let me slip from between his fingers? Did he choose me before the mountains were brought forth, or the channels of the deep were digged, and will he reject me now? Impossible. I am sure he would not have loved me so long if he had not been a changeless lover. If he could grow weary of me, he would have been tired of me long before now. If he had not loved me with a love as deep as hell and as strong as death, he would have turned from me long ago. O oh joy, above all joys, to know that I am his everlasting and inalienable inheritance, given to him by his Father, or ever the earth was made. Everlasting love shall be the pillow for my head this night. For daily readings and devotions, Please subscribe to Every Creature Ministry.